love me. I want you to love me. Square Enix. War. Lost lives. The fire that tears lovers apart. The flames of war are ablaze once again. I repeat, unleash your powers for the glory of the Knights of the Seal. I'm asking you to let me die. My beauty, it is my sin. Damn, I am hungry. Oh, what was that? That didn't even touch me. I understand now. This is my destiny. You're kind and gentle, yet somewhat wild. That's why I... I wish I could be a savior. I'm glad I met you. Goodbye, Nai. I want to save you. See me grow wings and fly high. If all seals destroyed, the world will end. Or maybe it's a new beginning. It doesn't matter. We're going in. You. The world would be better off without weaklings like you. It's all wrong. Everything. Let Mana go. Please, don't hate me. You saw the truth yourself. Is it over? Cutting you. This will be our final battle. Let's go. No way. Hello everybody, Sniper the Lazy Man here. This is Drakengard 2. That is right, the longer awaited LP to do for all of you. So obviously, this is the sequel to Drakengard, and generally from what I hear, you either like this game or you don't. I mean, you can say that for a lot of games, but this one in particular, I hear quite a bit about. That they change up too much, that it doesn't really add too much that the original did. The original, did, the first one game did so much. I'm going to kind of be a little bit on the opposite end and say, I love this game. I love this game probably just as much as the sec as the uh, first one. Um, okay, it's just going to take you back to the title screen. Um, but yeah, I, I will say that I love it. I will admit to, I will admit though, yes, I may, maybe I don't play this one as much as I did the first game. Um... But you know that's uh, that was that, that's that's at least my my point of view. So uh, without further ado, let us get uh, get started on this. This set is easy difficulty setting. Uh, recommend for players who are new to action games. I'm not new, but let's go on ahead and do that anyways. And sure. Before I was born, a war broke out between the Empire and the Union. Many people bled, and the world marched towards destruction. Lost lives. Sacrifices. The all-consuming blaze. The world saved. 
Kaim, the soldier who lost his voice. Angelus, the Red Dragon. They were the events of 18 years ago. Five seals hold in place the Red Dragon. The last bastion against world destruction. Charged with protecting them are the Knights of the Sea. In charge of each sea is a guardian, a lieutenant among the knights. Now, a young warrior has been accepted into the Knights of the Sea. A young man raised by a blue dragon. His name is Noah. Chapter One Premonition. your time at last. Good luck in the royal duel. Eris, what's the point of the royal duels anyway? Why waste time fighting with our allies? Noe, you really don't know a thing, do you? We Knights of the Seal are here for one thing only, and that is to protect the Goddess Seal. The royal duel is held so that the lieutenants can assess the progress of their knights' training. It's very important. You've only just joined, but you're a real knight now. You make sure you don't embarrass yourself out there. Do you hear me? Yeah. I'll fight like I always do. Noe, this battle is important. Why don't I run you through the practice course one more time, just for old time's sake? Why not? It's been a long time. I'd better see if I can remember how. Yeah, why not? It's been a long time since I've played Drapen Guard, so might as well relearn of, uh, might as well teach me. Because <laughs> I'm certainly not going to remember myself. Alright. Move around, left analog stick. Alright, normal. Okay, so squares to do that. Triangle does another move. X to jump. And, okay. Simple enough. So, circle right now does nothing. Proceed to the marked door. Use the right analog stick to move the camera and take a look around. Press L2 to reset the camera. Okay. Uh, okay, now 2 is also block. Alright, that's also dodge left and right. And R2 does nothing at this moment. Grand Shrine Attack Training Room. Here you will learn various attacks. First, as to a normal attack with square. Alright. Light the crystals by striking it, it will guide you to the next destination. Okay, yep, yeah, jump attack. Pretty basic. So yeah, obviously a lot of this going, a lot of the first, the first little bit here is obviously going to be tra training and uh, tutorial and stuff like that. So I won't really uh, bother with you know getting more in depth into the game and talking about you know what I liked about it and stuff like that uh, until much uh, much later. Okay, yeah, so that's cool. <laughs> Okay, we can open up chests now. Yeah, so you couldn't do this in Dragon Guard 1. 
Which that is, that's pretty neat. Stand from the closed door and use the key to a, that you've obtained. Alright. Proceed to the next room. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, I didn't. A lot, a lot of this would just be the same, same old shit. Defense training. All right, you must defend against attacks appropriately, or you will take damage. HP gauge is there. If it's empty, game over. All right, and I just learned to block attacks. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> You can also perform backflip by pressing M at the same time. I can backflip! I can backflip! That's cool. Don't do it, no way. Don't do it! No, no! Okay. There we go. If an enemy attack hurls you into the air, press L2 and you'll regain control. By recovering from the blow, this way you can avoid damage from, from an uncontrollable fall, I guess. No, no. Ah! Ah! No, I, I, no. <laughs> there we go. Oh, for some training, it's pretty deadly. Alright, got this. So, pretty good. We know how to attack. We know how to defend ourselves. So, what could there possibly be next to do? I wonder. By the way, too, I love his, I love this guy's sword. It's, it is really cool. All right, it looks like you're warmed up now. Next. Hey, wait. What do you want? Haha, <laughs> nothing. Nothing from you, Eris. No. My quarrel is with your friend there. Oh yeah? First, well, come at me, bro. A general plucks dragon child here out of the wilderness. Then the hierarch calls him a savior. This boy gets on my nerves. That is enough. No way. You're entered in the royal duel, aren't you? How about some real training, eh? Eh? You can't call your dragon friend in here. I'm in charge of his training, soldier. It's okay, Eris. Come on, then. If it's a fight you want. Show no mercy. Awesome, I shall. You can open the grand wheel by pressing... Yes, yeah, so the, uh, oh no, oh no, no, I didn't want to do that. Wait, did it just automatically do that for me? I think it did. Okay, I'm pretty sure it, it automatically did that for me and immediately used some items. Okay, so this is why I got, so this is the first thing I got to say. Um, yes, the wheel from the first game is back in this one. And uh, we've also now have items that we can use in between, which can heal up. HP and magic and stuff like that, which is uh, which is really neat. Um, okay. Uh, how do I get out? Tri triangle? Really? All right. Another thing you probably noticed too is this is a little bit more how you say RPG ish, where you'll see the damage of the numbers, numbers of how much damage will do. You know, that's that's kind of neat. That'll be enough for today. It looks like you boys need to spend a bit more time on training and a bit less on picking fights. Now get out of my sight. You may receive spheres or money by defeating enemies or opening treasure chests. Alright, cool. So that's for HP. That's for magic. And money. And yeah, so there is actually there is an actual shop too that we can buy items and weapons actually. So rather than all of them just going and collecting them, you can buy them. For you. Try to stay relaxed and good luck. <laughs> I'll be fine. Are you going to treat me like a kid forever? <laughs> I'll go on ahead of you. I'll be watching your fight along with the other officers. Yeah. Thanks, Harris. All right, cool, cool, cool stuff. And hey, I did restock my items from that unnecessary one use of of, a, of an item. All right, so here we can equip weapons and uh, such, but obviously I don't have any. 
items. All right. And we even have accessories that we can equip to certain characters, too. Uh, yeah, reduce one physical defense, or one physical damage. That's, uh, that's really useful. Alright, so let's go on ahead and save. Might as well, as I'm going to be doing a full LP of this, so... It's probably a good idea to save. Gizmo, you are to be my opponent. I am honored. Are you ready, Noe? The priests are watching. Try not to embarrass yourself. Harris, give the signal. Sir. Now, Dragon Boy, let's see if that reptile raised you well. Show me how strong you have become. Begin! The only way for a weakling like you to win is to fight in large numbers. Don't forget, keep swinging your sword. Alright, pressing the square five times in a quick succession, activate a combo attack. Alright. Two, three, four, five. Alright. So can I get rid of him quickly, or do I have to... No? You're starting to use your sword like a real human. Right. It's time to up the stakes. Prepare yourself. Alright, what do you got, old man? Fight the leader of the Knights of the Seal, General Gizmore. When facing enemies with high defense, sidestep around them to attack them from behind. Yeah, what you got? Huh? Yeah. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> So another quick thing you'll learn to you'll know too is that the combat's a little bit different from the first one. You've learned your lessons well. Right. Time to get serious. Spark what, like you weren't serious already? To the front. General Gizmo, excuse my impertinence, but Noe has just joined the knights. Is it fair to make him face such opposition? I'm giving him a chance to prove himself. <laughs> it is an honor. This is what Oro would have wanted for his son. I know you two have trained hard together. I don't know what you taught him. But now is the time for you to show me the results. Harris, give the signal. Sir, begin. Defeat the squad of senior knights. All right, no problem, man. <laughs> okay. Weapon in the weapon in use levels up and acquires a set number of experience points. Each weapon level up maximum of four levels, uh, increasing the attack power and unlocking new combos. So now this is another thing that they've sort of added. Instead for just the regular combo that is the standalone one here, as you level it up, you get additional combos, which is pretty neat. Just let the energy inside you burst outward. It shouldn't be difficult for someone like yourself. By defeating enemies or acquiring magic spheres. Okay. Alright, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the video here, but I will leave it on good notes. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and keep checking out for more on Drafting Guard 2. So, for Noe, we will see you all next time. <laughs>